Hi, I guys. So I have this book here. It's called Llama Pajamas that I'm going to read to you just chapter one today and then maybe we'll do another one tomorrow. And so just looking at the cover there, what do you notice about the cover? What do you see on it? Those are some wild looking llamas. I thought this might be kind of a fun one to read while everybody's stuck at home. So we'll give it a try. And it's dedicated to all the mountains and flowers and wild animals who share this earth with us. So there's 13 chapters and chapter one is called Dad's Crazy Idea. Well, there's Dad. That is an old fashioned telephone that he is on with an antenna. My summer problems really started that morning in July when my father came inside with the travel section from the newspaper in his hands and exclaimed, this year we're going on a llama vacation. A llama vacation, I cried? You mean take a trip with those 100 pound furry creatures with big ears? Dad was already on the telephone dialing. Mr. Youngston, I hear you are the best in the llama business. My family and I would like to rent llamas for our hike in Colorado this summer. So now you need to pause, think, and retell. So what is the setting and who are the characters so far? Hike, I thought. This vacation was sounding worse and worse. You have to understand, my father used to backpack a lot. Nine years ago, before I was born. So how old is a child? And my mom is a pretty good day hiker on our vacations. You know, she walks two and a half miles to Grizzly Lake to look at the view with a camera and a few tasty sandwiches in her pack. When I was a little squirt, I liked hiking too. They'd bribe me with M&Ms. They'd give me one M&M for each switchback. Switchback is the word for the way a trail climbs up a steep mountain. Back and forth, like Zads, stacked one on another. At every turn, I chose, I got to choose one M&M, any color. Lately, I'd settled on being with a babysitter at the nearest lodge instead. Oh, I liked seeing the wild animals, but I also enjoyed drinking hot chocolate in front of the big fireplace at the lodge. I guess I mostly like crawling into my own bed at night and reading mysteries. I loved good old Kansas with our sprinkler in the backyard on hot summer days. The great outdoors was a not for me. Dad was deep into his conversation. Llama orientation session, I heard him say, to learn how to handle the llamas. Sounds delightful. Can my eight-year-old daughter participate? That was me. I was eight years old, but I looked about six. I decided it was time to bone up on llamas, so I headed for my computer encyclopedia on CD-ROM. That is a disc. You must know what a CD is and you used to have to store information on there and you could put it in the computer and look things up on it. I inserted the disc. Next, I clicked the animal window on the monitor and then cycled through alphabetically. I wasn't certain if llama had one L or two. What I learned amazed me. A llama could carry up to 100 pounds happily. That was twice what I weighed. Llamas are South American relatives of camels. In fact, they looked like camels without any humps. But I had a ghastly little question growing in my mind from a movie I'd seen. Don't camels spit? So pause, think, retell. And you can pause the video while you retell it to your stuffy or to your mom or dad or whoever happens to be around. I wasn't sure, but I thought I remembered seeing a llama article in Ranger Rick last summer. The magazines were a gift from dad, so I always slipped through them sitting on the couch in front of him. But I must admit, I mostly used them to fill up my nightstand. I hurried to my room. My nightstand this month was decorated with hand-painted pictures of different species of butterflies. My stuffed monkey, Monk, hung off a corner by one arm. The rest of my room looked like any normal kid's room a whale mobile over my bed, an enlarged snapshot of me being hugged by the, beauty, the beast from Beauty and the Beast on our vacation to Disney World two years ago, my hamster cage, tons of stuffed animals, and three bookshelves. 
I found the Ranger Rick, carried it back to the family room, and sat down in my computer chair. The pictures were a lot clearer than the one on my computer. Dad must be planning a real mountain trip, complete with llamas to carry our gear. These llamas were long-eared and long-haired too. They looked bigger than Dad. Lots bigger than I am. I laughed when I read that bears in the wilderness have been known to turn around and run when they see llamas because llamas look so strange. The second page mentioned that llamas don't spit green goo very often. A person didn't need to worry unless the llama raised its head and put its ears flat. Dad got off the phone. Mr. Youngston asked me why I didn't have a car big enough to carry a llama, he chuckled. Oh, and milkshake? They weigh 300 pounds, not 100. My name is Sarah, but Dad has nicknamed me Milkshake. I guess because that has always been my favorite treat, even when I was a baby. I know, I said, indicating the computer. Dad looked impressed. Raising his right eyebrow, eyebrow, he clicked on the next animal in the alphabet, Langur monkey. And Langur has two L's. I have no idea what that is. Dad, I asked. Hmm, he replied, glued to my computer screen. Have you asked Mom yet about these llamas? He shook his head. Don't worry. She always loves my vacation ideas. This time, I wasn't so sure. And so tomorrow is chapter two, Molly the computer. So I hope you like that. And maybe what you'd like to do is in your reading response uh, notebook is maybe you could draw me a picture of the characters and the setting of the first chapter. Okay, take care and I'll read to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, sure miss you guys. Hi, Isabel, how you doing?